scorer's table reviewing the brawl. And the Xavier players are finally leaving the floor as the two teams end up going down the same tunnel, I believe, here at the Centaur Center, as their locker rooms are not that far apart. The officials are reviewing, but just an unfortunate situation. And hope someone checks on. Kenny Free. You're right, and it is Holloway. It yeah, is Holloway and Gwen. Holloway and Gwen. And then Des Wells came over. Or check that, Justin. Was it Martin or no? It was Des uh, Wells. Des Wells. came over and kind of gave a blindside shot to Gwen. And that started it all. Well. That's just a shame that that's the way it had to end. There's Aaron Williams. Hey, he's trying to get in the middle because Aaron is as big as all of them. Trying to hold back Yancey Gates. Wow. Just hate the fact that these, these guys have to end this way. Just unfortunate, Bob. And you understand the, the frustration of Cincinnati. But well, that's Hugh Holloway with a freshman from Cincinnati. You've got to be smarter than that in that situation. Right here, these two are going at it. Xavier's already won the game, and here comes another freshman, Jez Wells, to instigate the issue. Yeah, with a game that's long decided, nine seconds to go in the game, and you get Gwen and Holloway kind of going chest to chest, nose to nose, that's just the macho showmanship garbage right. that, to a certain extent, has invaded today's sports landscape more so than we were growing up. And you don't need it. And in a rivalry game where tempers could very easily flare, again, the macho, I'm going to show you on that tough woofing that has become kind of part of today's sports culture sometimes leads oh my to goodness. moments like this. And boy, that was a shot from Yancey Gates to wow. Kenny Freeze. And it just dropped Freeze. And Freeze got cut and almost ended up at the bottom of a very dangerous spot. 